Hey guys, Papa Bear here. If you're like me and you like to do dry fire training, the Sky CPX-1 is an awesome uh, gun for that. Uh, I like the 1 because it's got the safety on it. Um, you can go with the CPX-2, same gun, with just minus the safety. The problem I have with this gun is the trigger pull is really hard. So, you can do it the what I call the correct way by a modification kit where you're going to have to take the firing pin assembly apart, you're going to have to take other parts of the gun uh, and replace the springs to get everything to the way it needs to be. Um, or if you're like um, if you're more like me you really don't want, you've already spent money on the gun you really don't want to spend a lot more money on it because you're basically just using it for dry fire. Um, or maybe your CC, um, it's your CCW weapon. Um, but you, for range, you're going to, you know, I personally have a Ruger Security 9 that I love for taking to the range. But anyway, if you use a pair of needle nose and you uh, tighten or you stretch this spring right here, which is real easy, you just take your needle nose, come in underneath here waiting for the camera to adjust pull up on this so you end up stretching it out I like I pulled it about maybe an inch or so uh, hold it for a little bit pull a little bit more make sure you get a you know like I said get a good inch stretch on it um, put it back together and then check your finger pull now on my gun I was running about nine and a half pounds out of the box after stretching that spring, I've gotten it down to 4.2 pounds. That's the only thing I've done to the gun, um, and it works for what I want it. It got it made it much easier to fire, and it's free. So you know, just an FYI, if you want to reduce your your trigger pull on the Sky CPX1 or CPX2.